ice. His sidekick, corrupt PC Cheryl Hutchins, was played by Carolyn Katz, who has since gone on the run to the Cornish coast as the love interest of Martin Clunes in Doc Martin. Before his tenure as a grumpy doctor, Clunes was once a compassionate undertaker in William and Mary. This modern family drama co-starred Julie Graham as Mary, his wife and a midwife. Julie took us back to a birthing centre in East Sussex to find out a bit more about midwifery. Oscar Wilde once observed that life imitates art far more than art imitates life. But I'm not so sure. For one actress, the whole art versus life thing got a bit muddled at one point. Hi, it's Julie. Julie Graham is visiting a local birthing centre to find out just how accurate her portrayal of a midwife in William and Mary actually was. This is the one bedded room here. She's got such a different feel from the hospital. It has. It's you know, totally. it's, yeah, yeah. That's why we call it home from home. Yeah. William and Mary was a modern relationship drama um, about a midwife and an undertaker who meet uh, through a dating agency. Um, the overall arc of the series was a is a love story. With Julie cast opposite Martin Clunes, the show was a huge success. Julie, she's just fantastic, yeah. We, we get on really, really well. I know, yeah, she's just the most spiffing actress. She got a great rack, too. <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> she wouldn't forgive me for not saying that. But at the end of the first series, Julie discovered she was pregnant in real life which is where art and life started to get a tad confused. Well, the pregnancy wasn't planned, um, and I phoned Mick Ford, the writer, very early on in the pregnancy. I was in Spain when I discovered I was pregnant, and I called him and I said, look, I'm pregnant, but it's early days, and um, I just have to warn you because I know you're starting to write scripts for the second series. And, of course, he just got so excited, and he was like, great! I think... In the back of his mind, I always, I always think that Mick Ford kind of put some potion in my tea because I'm sure that he wanted Mary to be pregnant in the series at some point. You're pregnant. You're pregnant. You're pregnant. <laughs> How did you know? Oh, oh come here! Oh, I love you. It was great. It was, um, it was fantastic because I, you know, I didn't need to do all the padding thing. I didn't need to, um pretend to be pregnant. Walk through this way. This is what we call the antenatal area. Right. This is Julie. Hi, Hi. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sorry to interrupt. Okay. How many um, weeks are you, Iona? Uh, 27. 27. Yes. Oh, this yeah. is your first. Second, Second. yeah. Mm, Had the, my first baby here um, in the birthing pool, which was an amazing experience. I really wanted to give birth in water, but I wasn't allowed, so. But in, in the programme, Mary has a water birth, oh. so that was the closest I got to yeah. actually having a water birth, unfortunately, but never mind. Things started to get really crazy when Julie used her own pregnancy to help her act out the expectancy of her character, Mary. In the series, Mary has to have a scan. Not my first scan, but Mary's first scan. And as they did it, all the crew gathered round to have a look at the screen and, and, uh, and there was my daughter moving around and we all got really emotional, big sparks, you know, big hairy sparks, crying and it was incredibly moving. Yeah, OK, well, from these measurements, I'd say you were 10 to 12 weeks. Yeah. <laughs> oh. and then, of course, I realised afterwards that it was a completely stupid thing to do because if there'd been something wrong, I would have found out in a whole room full of people that, that something was wrong with my baby. So. <laughs> It was incredibly stupid of me to let it happen. And also, I think my husband would have been very f***ed off that all the crew were getting to see his baby and he wasn't. Judy, this is the main labour room mm -hmm. with the bath in it, or pool. Mm -hmm. Did you use a bath at home? Well, I used the bath at home, yeah. I was in the bath for about three hours and I just found it so beneficial. It's got pain-killing properties and everything. 
Do partners ever get into the water? We have situations where the partner would like to get in the water and think they want to get in the water. They change their mind at the last minute. You can have, um, shall we say, stuff floating about in the pool, as you probably might be aware of, um, which occasionally needs fishing out with a sieve. Which I always thought is a nice job for a man or a partner um, who's got the partner in that predicament in the first place. Absolutely. <laughs> We don't have a clear role, no, certainly, we need some guidance. It's strange how it's changed, hasn't it? In my father-in-law's time, men weren't expected, you know, it would be a bit freakish to go and witness a birth, but now you'd better have a good, good excuse not to be there, hadn't you? Yes, well, back to the drama now, when fictional Mary was ready to give birth, it presented Julie with a bit of a problem. She wasn't. I was about seven months, and, um, Obviously, I had to give birth and make it look quite realistic, and but I'd been sort of it'd been drilled into me by the midwife that I wasn't allowed to actually push, so I had to pretend to push without pushing. It was really, really difficult. <gasps> oh! <sighs> William, get your arse back here! Mom, get off the line! <laughs> it was. Amazingly emotional, you know, kind of going through it and Martin being there and holding the baby and... Because Martin thought that I was actually really having his baby. I kept having to remind him that it wasn't his baby. He was getting emotionally attached to it. This little baby comes out. And the clever little thing, it was a two-day-old baby we were filming with. It sort of cleared, cleared the water from its eyes and sort of almost smiled at the camera. And that was the, the end of series two. William! Two weeks later, I actually gave birth again. So, two births in one month. It's quite traumatic, but never mind. 